In this notebook, we study the impact that the change in Twitter followers has on the future returns of the QQQ ETF constituents. In particular, we are using the daily, weekly, and monthly percent change of Twitter followers and are observing the impact they have on the returns of the securities over the following seven days. Throughout this notebook, we visualize the factor values, calculate the center moments, and perform normality tests. We also observe the correlation among the factors, measure the importance of the factors with regularization algorithms, and test the performance of several machine learning models. In this plot that shows the factor values over time, we can see the correlation of the month percent change factor increases between May and July 2021. We think this might be from Twitter removing bots from their platform, which decreases the acceleration of Twitter followers. In this plot that shows the results of the regularization algorithms, we can see the day percent change factor tends to have the lowest explanatory power when using the lasso, ridge, and elastic net models. We think this is because the prediction window is seven days into the future, and the one day percent change is not a large enough window to influence the next seven days. In this plot that shows the results of testing several machine learning models, the linear regression model outperforms the benchmark and all of the classifier models. We think this might be because the security returns and Twitter follower growth are skewed to the positive side of zero. In addition, the volatility of the classifier models is less than the volatility of the benchmark during the in-sample and out-of-sample tests. We think this might be because the classifier models are relatively dollar neutral, so they take short positions in the underlying securities to limit upside volatility and to protect against downside moves.